What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Today's day two of the Rhino Ranch guest house renovation project. <laughs> the one of the spiders? Oh, uh, Negrahe? No. Arky? I'll see. This is muy limpio, though, ¿verdad? Eh? No mucho caca de ratas. No, no tiene caca de rata, nada. Yeah, it's limpio. So right now, Abel's running over to the garage side of, of the guest house. And basically, we're gonna be pulling down the entire ceiling there today, if I don't fall over that door. Okay, well, that's one way to close the door. So the ceiling in the garage, this was an animal stall at one point. So I don't know what they put up back in the day, but it looks very animal stall-y. And I'm assuming most of the animal smell that's in here is held up by those ceiling panels, as well as all the rubber horse stall mess that we're gonna be tearing out. So that being said, Abel's up there right now, just making sure there's no insulation above here because we don't want to pull this down and you just get covered in insulation. Granted, I don't think there's very much above the garage, um, just above the living quarter section that we're in right now. Made a couple of executive decisions yesterday, one of which is this wall right here, which was gonna make it a pretty tight galley kitchen. I mean, you can see the fridge right there. We'd just be able to put one row of cabinets here um, with our little peninsula, nothing too big. Um, wouldn't be a good size kitchen. Or we end up taking this wall out and we push it back about 30 inches and that'll allow us a whole nother row of cabinets over here while still keeping that door centered. So I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. Um, so this wall's probably gonna be coming out and then we're gonna go from there. Kind of making this one up as I go in terms of like floor plan and layout, but for the most part, we're gonna keep things unchanged. And I say that now, but that'll probably change again in the future. I've been racking my brain on what to do with this bathroom here. Contemplating taking the toilet out from right there, making this a full width shower, because again, this thing's kind of, it's, it's, not, it's not the biggest or the best shower here. y'all Abel and Chavo have been making incredible headway in the garage portion of this building and it looks completely different they're only halfway done right now but it looks completely different so check out how absolutely massive it looks in here guys and hopefully the music doesn't kick on right now and I don't get copyrighted striked but this thing is huge and they've only torn off half of the ceiling so far but they've cleaned everything up in here um, they did an awesome job getting all the horse stall mats out of here finally we're able to get all of the animal pens out because well, we opened up one of these old barn doors here and uh, they ended up finding dirt about this high in this section right here in between that door and the plywood that was up in here and basically we think a squirrel or a gopher or something was living in there and piling up dirt to about here so probably a good thing we got that opened up this place looks absolutely awesome now i'm so stoked to see this cleaned up um and basically a fresh slate for us to come in here and make some cool stuff happen willie what are you doing buddy you, you trying to you need a bucket you could have just asked Chava instead of knocking over his tools. Alrighty y'all, well yesterday the guys did an awesome job of cleaning out the back garage. Um, and it was just so dusty in there that I knew if we continued to work in there, my allergies would absolutely just knock me out for today. So gave it a day for all the dust and everything to kind of settle and clear. And well, speaking of being knocked out, uh, well, oh jeez. Hey guy. Sorry aloe vera. Sorry, sorry rocking chair. I'm coming buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. I was gonna pop it back into place for you. Chris, what happened, buddy? I old age, I don't know. Jeez. I think we need a bigger golf cart, buddy. I think, I think we do. Yeah, we got it. We gotta bring these things with us everywhere now? Yeah, oh, me too. Lord. Can I just get you a rascal scooter? Please. Gas powered? Please do. Okay. Please do. <laughs> I'm gonna need it for a while. <laughs> if anybody out there's got a super sweet rascal scooter, we can give it to our buddy Chris. Let me know. You know, he's, he's kind of crippled now. Torn meniscus. Allegedly. Yeah. All right, buddy. It's the closest I can get you. Can you make that walk? No, I think I can. All right. So Chris is our kitchen layout guru. Oh, I, I get the door for you too? Jesus Christ. 
useless around here. Let me get some lights on in here. This smells like Dedic in here. We gotta paint the walls, seal up the wall, get rid of the, the Dedic dog smell. It'll be good. All right, buddy, come check out the biggest transformation. Oh. <laughs> you got hands. I did not move. Not bad. Not bad. Are we ready to mark this kitchen? Oh, are you ready to mark this kitchen? Oh, you're. <laughs> All right, you just gonna yell out orders? I'm just gonna yell out orders. Yeah, fine, I got it. All right, cool. cool. Can you hold a camera when you fall over? I mean, you got your GoPro? Roll. We're gonna set you guys on the ground. All right, buddy, we see ya. 58 and a half. All right. Five by two. Which is? Yep. Almost. Two foot five and a quarter. 32 base cabinet right there. 36. 36. Yeah, so it goes 36 base cabinet. Wait, watch your toe. What? We got us. 92 inches. You got time to lean, you got time to clean. Oh, we'll put a little broom, broom head on there? Right. Matt, speed pull. Dang. Speed pull crutches? Speed pull crutches. Bro. Are we gonna do a pantry on the end or are we just gonna? I would like to personally have a pantry. I know it's an expensive piece of cabinetry, but I would like to have a pantry. Well, I mean, we are doing- We're on a budget. We guys. are doing pre prefab cabinets, so you know. It's budget, true. Budget friendly. We're going budget friendly with the prefab cabinets. You know, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm not spending 20 grand on kitchen cabinets for a guest house. Mm -hmm. There's an 18 inch pantry. Okay. All right. That, turn that mark over. Yep. A 33 inch opening for this refrigerator. 33 inch for the refrigerator. All right. It's going to be like a little what? kitchenette ish. A ki we're going to call it kitchenette plus. Okay. Kitchenette, but elevated. You know? Okay. This ain't what you're going to see in the Motel 6. Like, it's going to be functional, more functional than the Motel 6. We're going to call this place. The more functional Motel 6 on Rhino Ranch. Okay, well. Motel 6 plus. So I think our pantry's back in then. Okay, pantry's back in. So I think if we go bigger, I think we go maybe like a 24 inch. A 24 inch pantry? Wow, what's happening now? Are we going to that wall? Yeah. Oh, we are using that wall now, okay. So Chris, what are we looking at? 12 cabinets, 14 cabinets? Yeah. Sounds expensive. A little bit. I found a solution, buddy. Check this bad boy out. For a thousand bucks on Amazon, it comes with a sink, a fridge, a cooktop, everything built in, dude. Just slap it on that wall, call it a day. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We don't even do I could sell this fridge and probably buy this whole thing right here. You won't. Hey, buddy, uh, pull up your bucket to our, what's gonna be our little peninsula here to eat at. I mean, this, this is painful to watch. Buddy, what are you making me? <laughs> you can stand up and I can move the bucket for you. So the peninsula is going to come out to about that mark right there, which still leaves us plenty of room to be able to squeeze a refrigerator and stuff past. We want to see if two people could sit here comfortably and eat. And I feel like... Are you righty or lefty? Righty? Okay. Uh, well, so are you. I know this isn't real life because you would not want to be against the wall. Uh, 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 why is your arm so hairy? <laughs> it ain't that. Can I have a bite of your steak? <laughs> It's not horrible. Like it would, I wouldn't want to do this very often, but I feel like for guest houses, this is kind of this is kind of cool. We'll build a little peninsula right here. This will be the Eden Peninsula. You know, we'll have some cute little pendant lights or whatever coming down, and then uh, we've opted what? The cute little fan. cute cute little. Listen, I'm trying to get my HGTV show, dog. <laughs> it's gonna be fat. We need some window covering, the treatments in here. So, anyways, <laughs> we're kind of like trying to scale back a little bit because I don't want this to be a million dollar project. Not on like my highest priority list, but it kind of became that when we had a friend that needs to move in. So, regardless, we're thinking pantry cabinet right here. Fridge is gonna go right here with a little cabinet above it. Next to it, we're going with a 33 inch base cabinet. Then we're gonna go with a 36 inch sink base. So the sink's gonna be essentially centered up underneath the window right here. Then it's gonna make the turn into our peninsula right here. Now on this back wall, this is where things get a little bit interesting and it's where it got really expensive really quick, but then we kind of scaled it down a little bit. So behind us here, you'll see this mark on the wall right here. So what I'm gonna do is essentially from this mark right here, this entire wall is gonna get pushed back about 28 inches. That's gonna give us room for a whole nother bank of cabinets over here. Um, and the reason we're only doing it from here back is we're actually gonna reserve this wall. We're gonna wanna open this up right here now, and that's gonna give us a hallway to what can be a second bedroom, um, because we're gonna open this wall up, plenty of room once we go inside there to turn and to go into a bedroom. Which, as you guys have seen on this side, we have plenty of room to actually frame up a whole another room out here. So, um, are we gonna do that now? I don't know but we're gonna prep it for the fact that if we ever need to add a bedroom, 
like that's still an option, especially considering we have this giant hole cut right here that'll allow us to frame in a window and get everything nice enough to code in legal. So we'll kind of approach that as we need to. But for now, this is gonna be kind of our, our focus here. And on this side, we're only gonna put base cabinets. Reason being is, you know, we're trying not to break the budget here. So we're only gonna put base cabinets and then we might do some floating shelves up top. Um, you know, something real nice. And then right here, you'll have your like electric cooktop, probably a little microwave over here. All right guys, so I think we pretty much got our plan figured out here. Um, got to demo out this little bit here. Uh, ship that wall just in here. And then we gotta figure out our, our plumbing plan and a couple other little things. But first we gotta get uh, our patient here, Chris. Uh, let me drive you to your truck. Yeah, I gotta go to physical therapy. Oh, physical therapy, okay. Who's this guy right? Oh. I don't know who this guy is. We better go check it out. Dave? Oh, oh. <laughs> Were you at a climate summit? <laughs> I was at a climate summit. Right Dave. Dave. Right now. Oh I mean, God. your family sent me, Dave. They said Doc. you've been out on the streets. Doc, I've been like... You, you know, look horrible, Dave. I've been like... You ever heard of Johnin? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going that well, man. Well, I can see that, Dave. I mean, we're going to have to get you in the truck, and we're going to have to take you back. All right. <laughs> That's a nice truck. Yeah. You want to go grab some stuff? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So Dave's getting his van worked on. Um, we are picking him up because we're going to take him to the ranch. And we're gonna start putting a plan together for our framing and for a couple of other things, so. And we got his gym bag, cause you know, we gotta get a workout in too, cause all of you guys blow me up on what the status of the gym is at the ranch. Dave, everybody wants to know, where's my dumbbell rack, dude? You didn't get it? No. I could have sworn you got it. No, I never got one. Dang, dude. So our thing was those little cup things that we want are eight bucks each. Yeah, that hold the dumbbells in place. Yeah. So then Dave was like, well, we'll get them manufactured on our own. And then that turned out to be not cheaper. No, I mean like my quote on manufacturing. Oh yeah. From the guy who does that was eight bucks each. But I gotta say like, man, where are the dune buggy dudes with the little bender? Oh. You know, we're not asking for much here. We're just <laughs> like rolling some flat bar. I mean. So that was the hang up on the dumbbell rack was the little cups or the little cradles that hold the actual dumbbells in place. To buy like the plastic ones that the actual gyms use was just super expensive. So we were like, well, we can get them made for cheaper than that. And then that turned out to not be any cheaper. Um, and we need like 80 of them. So it added up really quick and that's just kind of what put our project on hold. I got you a bag of chips there if you need it. <laughs> All that? Yeah. And? and a pack of chips. We got an engineer Dave on it. How's it look, buddy? Yeah, it looks like you, you could rectify that little architectural faux pas is what I'm saying. Oh, you mean the, the window that <laughs> they put a wall in front of? Kind of running through with Dave right now. We're trying to figure out, you know, number one, running my ideas by him and making sure like, you know, we're all on the same page and everything's cool and he don't have any input of like things we should tweak. The other thing is, you know, this is gonna be my master framer. The diagonal strip here, I mean, I just framed one recently with a diagonal in it, just like this, although I did use a one by six. Right. Uh, but essentially it's either, the diagonal is basically exactly what a sheet of plywood would do, but it keeps it from racking this way. And you can see this diagonal, you know, that would keep the roof from being able to rack like this way as well. Right. Uh, so, so when you go and cut another opening into your wall, you're compromising that wall's ability to rack like a picture frame. You right. Know, you're getting rid of this diagonal. So as much as everybody goes, I want an open floor plan. I want an open floor plan. Well, yeah, <laughs> but uh, you got to be careful about how much structure you're taking out of the wall, particularly in... I mean, there's earthquakes everywhere, you know, right. like not just California and wind and uh, and uplift and everything else. So, so everything else, though, seems like we're kind of on board for moving that wall, leaving the option for a second bedroom and or laundry room. All right. Ready to do our material takeoff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then look at that, guys. Perfect timing. Is that the plumber other plumbers recommend? Oh, yeah. Perry Plumbing? What's up, buddy? What's up? How are you? Good. How are you? You ready to have some fun? Oh, yeah. Always something going on around yeah. here, huh? Did you bring a camera with you? I did, yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Got I said that looks like an estimator's truck right there. That's an estimator's truck. I got two a, okay, okay. Master right now. It's been busy. All right, he, he's ready to work. Is that the vac master covered in poop? Yeah. <laughs> Don't record this. It's so dirty. Gosh. Stand up there. The water heater's up there. It's the smallest water heater you've ever seen in your life. It looks like every bit of five gallons to me. I don't know. Maybe they call that 20. I mean, like I said, feel free. This will hold you. Okay, maybe maybe it's 10 gallon, 15. I don't know. 
See that look on his face right there when he's like, what the heck is going on? There's a lot of that in this building. <laughs> We've all had that same face. That would be fine for a shower, kitchen sink. Gotcha. Well, we got bigger issues in the water here, Nate. Come on in, buddy. She got a little air in her. That's the vibration function, extra clean. So kind of what I'm thinking is we rip this whole thing out and then we put in a, a corner stall and just get rid of this wall and at least get you six more inches. I don't know how the plumbing's run, but I'm assuming it goes boom, boom, septic. So the next thing we're doing, since we got Nate out here and we got Perry plumbing out here is in the laundry room, um, this place was plumbed in with a dryer vent that basically runs down through the slab. And according to the previous owner, it's like plugged up or there was water in it. It's not usable anymore. So the solution they came up with was basically vent the dryer out into the open, but you use pantyhose to collect the lint. It's not exactly my way to do things. So we got Nate with the camera here. We're going to shove it through that old dryer vent, which again, runs through the slab. And I'm sure it worked for 30 plus years. So we're going to see if there's an issue in here. Look at, that, look at that quality right there. Looks like we got some lint in that bad boy. Lots of lint. The other thing is, I have no idea where that vent leads out to. Um, I don't see a vent anywhere on the outside of the house. I've got no clue where that leads, so. He also brought his locator, which basically they could send the camera down and the locator like can follow the camera above ground. And it'll tell you like exactly where that end of that camera is. It's fighting you that much? Yeah. Or do you think it's a tight turn? It's a tight turn, yeah. Hard nine years about him. It made the turn, but. It usually goes in sewer lines where they're all wet. And that's gotcha. A little bit of lubrication, but. Yeah, I feel like uh, if we do get this back operable, it's gonna need a dry rent cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Might have found part of the problem, too many 90 degree turns. I mean, it's a long ways. You're trying to make a turn 20 feet away from us, essentially. Yeah. If it's a drain line, they're long sweeps, but this, you can see that's a really hard bend there. This thing looks brand new. It is, this one's brand new. Yeah. yeah. Did the other one fall off the truck? No, two, everyone's using them. Oh, it works at like that distance? Yeah. What are we looking at on this side? These little, uh, these little dots. North, what? it's called North Pole and South Pole. What's the 21? What do those numbers mean? Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's such a trip. I right, hear check right here because you can walk all the way through. You can, okay. See if it's. So there, there's two poles. The way that it sends a signal out is uh, from the camera head. It sends like two poles up like that. So you find uh, find those two dots first. Gotcha. North pole and south pole, and then right in the center, the equator is, is where the camera head's gonna be, which is that line. So that line's the camera head. Yeah. Okay. But I got I need to find the other pole to see kind of what direction it's going. So right now he's backing it up a little bit to see because we think it runs basically through here, and then it's turning somewhere in this corner right here, but we can't really find it that well on the kitchen side. Or just this one ties in somewhere. Okay. So we got another, like, I don't even know what you call it a clean out or you just call it a vent line that runs up underneath the water heater. It's a little dark in there, but trust me, it's there. So there's a good chance they tie in together, which I think will be weird on a dryer vent line. I don't think you want to like tie other stuff into a dryer vent line, but I also didn't design and build this house. That looks a lot cleaner. Yeah. I think we're on the same line, but unless they ran two of them right next to each other. I wonder if you get it all the way to where we hit that wall, if we look in that vent, see if it's like right there. All right guys, so we got my camera in there. Nate's back in the laundry room and he ran the snake back over to here. And uh, I could probably guess by the amount of lint that's in here, that it literally just tied into this vent that comes into the bathroom of the gym under the water heater. Very strange stuff in this house. Let me tell you guys, very strange stuff. Now, while me and Nate have been down here messing around, I'm playing games, Dave's been up here working. Oh, is that a guest house right there? Why well, else has it currently sit? Okay, so like anything Dave does, he gets drawn up in the computer, even as simple as like, hey Dave, we need a material takeoff. Every, every time I don't, put it in the computer is like just give it time and then i'll be like oh i wish i had put that in the computer right away and it would have saved all the problems all right fair yeah. okay so that's as it sits right now i'm gonna make the walls move do it like hgtv all right now the first thing i remember is that we want to move this wall right here mm -hmm. which has a door in it i haven't put that in there we want to move this one back anything in the the pink aka cyan is a uh, new framing and now we want to move the kitchen portion mm -hmm. 
28. 28. All righty, y'all. So we have our new floor plan here. Again, we're not changing a whole lot. I know everybody said we should gut the whole thing and start over, but time and money wise, we just got to get this thing done and ready. So we've added our closet there into the bedroom because we don't have one right now. Um, this is kind of where we're going to bump the kitchen out for the cabinets along that side. And then this wall is going to go away. This wall is going to go away. That wall is going to go away. This is essentially going to be your little hallway to a door right here, which if we ever decide to make this a second bedroom, a laundry room or whatever, you're going to have access to it there. Good chances though, the laundry room is going to end up being right here. Um, we're going to put the washer dryer hook up. It might just be in the garage. I don't think it's going to get its own separate room. Did you get the soffit in there? Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. We also got a soffit that's getting framed at the top of all the walls in the garage because that's where all the electrical runs and it's not inside of the studs and we don't want to rerun that so we'll just build a little soffit drywall it like the rest of the house has yeah i mean now we do the material takeoff right? okay yeah all right y'all well yesterday we got our plan all mapped out um today i'm kind of flying solo but i want to get up in the guest house and do like the last well not the full last bit of demolition but at least get like the last bit of the walls demo that we need to open up we'll still have some concrete and some stuff we have to do after this but regardless in case you guys are wondering timelines of vehicles um well this wasn't here when we started this video so we got the new work truck so far though loving the bronco new videos coming on this soon set all this back here all right y'all well i thought i was flying solo today but we got we got these girls and then we got this very capable man here. You bring your work crutches? Yeah, bro, I don't know why you're wearing a sweatshirt, man. It's 100 degrees out. I don't know why you're wearing work boots. You ain't working. Oh. Well, now that you're now that you're here to supervise, I'm gonna get to work. Now that we got the Bronco out here, let's go that way. Oh, you wanna go exploring? Yeah. You taking your truck? Yeah. Yo, that's that's where the poop goes, bro. You shouldn't okay. be in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> attack! These are my attack goats, bro. What's up, cat? You just you just chilling in dead eggs? Okay, bye. That X Jeep has become quite the animal hole. Um, there's some peacock eggs right there. Those have been there forever. Those are probably disgusting. I mean, they are disgusting. What are you, you talking to the goats? Oh, okay. So first things first, we're gonna demo out this whole closet. That's gonna tell me where this wing's gonna end up being. That'll tell us how far of this wall is gonna stay before we die into here to push back for our kitchen. I'm just watching. You want me to get you a chair or? Shout out to, uh, assuming this used to be blue, the sweet paint job here. Two coats, you're trying to hide something guys, two coats. So we've got our line right here, guys. Um, that basically accounts for the hallway that we're gonna put in behind this wall. Because again, you saw we were taking this out. There's gonna be a hallway, a right turn into the bedroom. We could put the door right here. Um, I'm still not against that, but we gotta leave enough room to be able to like get in there and turn before you got a big wall that comes out this way. Uh, Chris, question. Are you leaving the, the ceiling fan in the bathroom or kitchen? No, I hate ceiling fans in kitchens. So you can see this was like the original back wall to something. I mean, it's just a bunch of gross dirt and crap that I'm sure was in there from the horses being in here. And then they just slid a bunch of pieces of like some MDF as backing when they did all the drywall. So. So we've got the front side torn out here. Um, this is essentially gonna be our line. We're gonna come over to the back side here. We're gonna cut this drywall straight up right there. Math wise, our mark was just about half inch off of where the stud is. We're just gonna go to the stud because that little half inch is trivial in this whole grand scheme of things here. It wasn't a half inch off because there's half inch draw. So your mark was correct. Thanks, dog. You're welcome. Thanks, dog. You're so nice. Just get angry. Right here? Yeah. Right here, the seam? Kills the seam's probably stronger. That's how we break our hands, Chris. Did it hurt? 
A little bit, man. A little bit. Let's see. All right, kick one. Oh. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> That's why I turned the GoPro on right before that happened. Hard hat zone, dog. It's a hard hat zone. Cause that's a comfortable way to hit it. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, we're making some steady progress here. I had to switch over to my phone because GoPros hate the dark. Um, so we're tearing apart where this wall kind of scabbed in to that wall. This was the backside of the closet, and basically everywhere that they had to like scab two pieces of drywall together, they put some blocking in, but they like it wasn't. What? Oh, is that your cane, bro? Yeah. Dang, dude, there you go. So when you try and pull off this two by four, which was what basically framed out the back side of the wall, um, it's really only attached to this blocking and this blocking's loose inside the wall. So we're fighting separating every piece here oh, without ripping that little back section back there, right there, which wants to pull that drywall with it because it's screwed to that two by four. So slowly but surely, How's my finger? Move your finger. Oh. All right, guys. Well, we are pretty much all wrapped up for today. All that looks great and open now. You guys are probably thinking, you know, you should make this entire thing one big guest house. I know a lot of you are saying you should just demo the entire thing and reframe it out exactly the way you want it. And trust me, I would like to do that, but we're trying to stay on a tight budget um, and get this thing done in time for our friend to move in. So. This is what we're gonna do. It, trust me, it'll make sense. And hopefully you guys are starting to see the plan come together. So this'll be obviously a kitchen, peninsula that comes out, two seats to eat at. I'm gonna go out a little bit. It's gonna get a little grainy, but just bear with me here. Um, these are gonna be inset cabinets. So we're gonna frame this wall about 28 inches back. There'll be a whole nother bank of cabinets and a countertop here with your cooktop. We're gonna frame this soffit down a little bit. Um, that way it'll just kind of bring the height down in there and we'll be able to put two spotlights that'll light up the cabinets there. Then over here, this is going to be the new hallway, which will lead to where a second bedroom will eventually be. So it's going to come up to about here. We got a little over four feet there to make the turn. Right here, we'll frame a door. The door will obviously open up into what'll be the second bedroom ends up being 10 foot by 11 foot which is actually a decent size for a guest bedroom super stoked with the progress i would keep going but we filled up the dumpster we don't even have room to get all of that in there um, we still need a demo right there to run our water lines down to get to our kitchen sink uh, we need to do a little bit more demo there so we can run our electrical over top of where all the cabinets are going to be still a little bit more demo to go but we are making great progress over here considering i think this is day i don't know two two and a half three consistent not counting all the days of us just coming in here and like pondering ideas and all that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, I know a lot of you guys asked for more construction stuff. So I think this is pretty construction-y. And with that, we're gonna wrap up as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now so you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.